written differently, but it means the same thing. I want you to get used to seeing it both ways. G composed of F of X. And then evaluate it if x is equal to 10. No, I'm just giving you a value. x could equal 2, or negative 3, or even a fraction or a decimal, or a radical, or a polynomial. You're taking your g of x function, leaving parentheses everywhere you see the x, and then plug the f of x function in. What are you required to do in this very first part? FOIL. Because it's 2x plus 1 squared, which is going to give you 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. And then to that, you're adding 2x plus 1. And then you're subtracting one. Okay. This is what is being substituted in here for these x's. And since the first x was squared, I have to square this expression. Okay. So I have 4x squared plus 6x plus 1. Now, if x is equal to 10, it's not going to be 219, is it? Like when we composed it the other way. It's going to be 4 times 100 plus 60 plus 1, or 461. But the first one listed is always the first one you start with. And then you put the second one into it. Yes? I don't understand how um, the G of X can equal F can equal G times F of X. It's not equal G times F of X. I'm substitute just like if I said G of 3, I would put a 3 everywhere I saw an X. Okay, this tells me what to plug in here for x. Well, it's an entire expression that I'm plugging in for x. Okay, so all this did right here was it put one into the other. Now from that, I'm not concerned with g and f of x anymore. I'm concerned with just taking this whole expression and simplifying it. Because if I had said, what's g of 3, then I would have wrote, would have wrote, that's why I teach math, 3 squared plus 3 minus 1, okay? But I said, <coughs> everywhere you see an x, I want you to put another function in that spot. And that whole function was 2x plus 1. So we're just telling what to put in for x. It's a big, massive substitution problem. Okay? And then you're simplifying. Now, I'm going to show you something because you're going to see it tonight, and I don't want you to say, you can do that? Because, yes, you can.
you can compose a function with itself, which means this. You take your f of x function, which is 2x plus 1. And into x, you're going to put the f of x function again, which is 2x plus 1. Okay? And then we simplify. We distribute here. And then we add like terms. And if I had a number here for f of f of, let's say, 2, then you plug a 2 in and you figure out what that's equal to. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how you can use this in the real world. Tonight I just want you to practice doing this. Okay? And then... We got time. All right. I want you guys to first compose G of H and simplify it. And then I want you to do H of G. And that circle's a little big right there. It's like a little bubble. Starting with my g function, it's 2 times x. And into that, I am plugging the h of x function, which is that whole thing. Now to simplify it, I have to distribute a 2. Okay, so that was the first one. Now here, in the second one, I'm starting with my h function, which means I have x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. And into all of those parentheses, I'm inserting the g of x function, which is 2x. Now when I'm simplifying, if I'm going to cube 2x, that means the 2 and the x are being cubed. So this is going to give me 8x cubed. 2x squared is 4x squared plus 2x plus 1. And there were no like terms that could be added together. Put a number in? Well, you can't. They're not alike. You can only add them if they were all like x cubes or x squares or x's, but they're all different. Okay, then one more thing that I'm going to show you. It's in your bag. Yeah. We're going to look at composition of three functions. Plugging a function into a function into another function. Okay, but it's still the same thing. We're using parentheses and plugging stuff in. Okay? You done, Parker? So here we have three functions. We have f of x is equal to 3x, which represents a what? A line. We have g of x is equal to 2x, which represents a line. And we have h of x is equal to x squared plus 1, which represents a? No. Parabola opening up. Very good. Very good. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do f composed of G composed of F. I mean H. Sorry, sorry. G composed of H. Yes. The other way? Um... Like that. 